so here also you will have to pay gst and everything if you want to become work as a professional also as an entrepreneur also so that that uh, pattern that pattern will be followed but here you need not to work as a not to incorporate as a company you are working as a freelancer so these three uh, terms are there in the professional ship if you want to go it it contributes towards the gig economy and we are seeing that worldwide economy mein, this particular gig economy is taking place in a very good way means number of people they are actually choosing the profession the track of professionalism right but uh, right now we are not talking about the professionalism much we are really talking only about the entrepreneurship because this session says that how we are going to develop our thinking when we are talking about the entrepreneurship right so here uh, the important part is this that there should be some development of mindset which is moving towards or motivating you towards entrepreneurship right so if uh, uh, if you want to develop your entrepreneurial mindset you want to say you want say that sir i want to make my my mind um, towards entrepreneurship but it is not happening because of some reasons if i ask you sir what are the reasons or maybe you are knowing about the reasons maybe you are not knowing about the reasons reasons could be anything maybe <laughs> in your family people are not from the business background they are from the service background maybe in your in your you know job some people are un unemployed or uh, um, maybe some people who have tried their businesses for 2 years 5 years but they didn't become they didn't success they didn't get success and th that is why you are not motivated towards entrepreneurship and your entrepreneurial mindset that is not developed maybe it is already developed it is also possible that it is already developed and in any of the cases whether your your parental business is in towards the job or maybe it is towards any business in that case also it is possible that your mindset that is already developed from the childhood days you know how to do the business you understand at least the profit and loss uh, when you were doing your know uh, the numericals pertaining to the profit and loss in the class 6th 7th 8th or 9th you were enjoying those kind of exercises so uh, maybe anything may possible but uh, yes uh, if you ask me sir how does an entrepreneurial mindset actually click it depends on many parameters and one very important parameter which actually is more than 50% captures the more than 50% of the reason is this that yes you can do you can do it and uh, to become an employee you know you have com then completed you have you are going to complete your btech maybe in computer science or electronics or mechanical and you know that uh, some companies will come and they will ask and the questions pertaining only to the on the you know, to the you know employment skills or maybe something related to the my engineering if i am in mechanical maybe they will be asking what these these this kind of questions or what kind of internships i have done what was what was my experience what i have learned after that particular internship how i made the project report how many contacts i am having the domain knowledge about it you you know about it that uh, if the company will be coming they will be asking uh, questions on these 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 parameters but in entrepreneurship actually if you don't know where to go how to start then it becomes a problem and especially in the case when when nobody is there to support you nobody is there to listen you nobody is there to you know validate you and your business idea so in that particular environment you find that you no know, i am some somewhat i am dicey that whether i should go for entrepreneurship or i should not go for entrepreneurship so for that particular situation to come out from that particular situation only once you will have to check yourself that whether you can do it or you cannot do it so how to check it that we will be seeing in the next slide and that is giving you a motivation that is giving you self motivation and once that check is passed when you think that yes i have done that particular part yes. then what we say that yes i am ready for the, for for taking next and next yes. segment yes. on entrepreneurial side right and from the childhood days there are many other reasons which are always uh, moving parallel with us that value of earning if you go to the market if you go for a job and you earn something some money you are getting some prize you are getting prize money you are getting you know some some assets you are getting small small assets in your case that parents has given you some diary or some pencil box or some mobile phone these are the assets so you know the value of that particular thing i am not saying that if, whether it is your earning or the earning of your parents if you are also respecting the earning of your parents you are respecting the earning of your you know siblings your your brother your sisters then to at least you have some charm of the life you want to do something you are having some inclination towards anything which is alluring you right 
And then after the third point is this, that from your own resources, if you are helping someone, that also actually generate your mind towards the entrepreneurship. Yes, I, I was able to solve someone's problem, someone's need. So I am I can do something. Our routine life is very, very important. Unless you are not having a routine life, at least in entrepreneurial journey, it is very difficult to become a successful person. I'm not saying that routine life means you should not go and go for the get together parties or you should not go for, for to spend time with your friends. But, uh, you know, uh, waking at some particular time in the morning, then after what is your what is your follow up or one hour or for two hours, you are starting from the day you are going to connect with the people uh, of your of your network right and through you know through messages or through the emails then after what is your planning at nine o'clock or ten o'clock when you will when you will reach to your office how will you start it so something that kind of routine that is very important entrepreneurial qualities and characteristics we will not discuss it much over here except uh, innovation and uh, because of the lack of the time but yes i will suggest you to find that what kind of entrepreneurial qualities and characteristics are required at what what stage and how we can do it then developing the iq iq stands for intelligence quotient eq stands for emotional s stands for social and a stands for adversity iq quotient you all understand q stands for quotient you all understand q is common in all these four parameters iq means if some problem is given to you how quickly how intelligently you are going to solve it emotional quotient means if uh, some situation is there where you will have to take a decision that whether whether you should uh, what kind of treatment you should do in that particular situation then emotional quotient is very important what kind of network you are having definitely social on social quotient is important and in the complete journey whenever you are coming down mentally or physically or financially then how to cope up and how to come back to your track that shows that at the time of adversity how you are going to maintain yourself and bt important part is this that in all these four kind of questions thinking plays very important role that is why i took some more time in explaining you what kind of thinking we should have thinking is responsible that how much in how intelligent we are thinking is responsible that how much emotional we are thinking is only responsible that how much social we are and thinking is only responsible that how much adverse how much capacity we are having to face the adversity Right, so uh, Coffee Cafe Day, you know, uh, the promoter, he committed suicide, uh, Siddhartha, he committed suicide because of the adversity. Adversity, he was not able to handle the adversity. And it was only the thinking part, which was always, always pushing him towards some negative ne negative things, that what to do, what to do now, what to do now, what to know. If, if today, if he is not there, it doesn't mean that the company has now sinked or the company is not uh, performing. These situations are always there. You will have to develop your thinking in such a way that whether you are going and choosing uh, your entrepreneurship career or employment as a career or professionalism as a career, you should have that strong kind of thinking. And that thinking is very important and responsible for IQ, EQ, SQ and AQ. So now this slide is very important. After this particular slide, we will have a halt. And if you have a question, you can ask, uh, ask those questions because we will be completing one parameter at least. But I see, we all are having human body, and this particular part is known as the brain. In our brain, we are having a special kind of spirit, which is responsible for developing a cognitive kind of thinking. That particular cognitive thinking is responsible, and we are having different mind set, mind we are having. We all are having mind. I do understand you all are the students of engineering, and you all are having very good mindset with you. You all are having technical mindset, logical mindset. You know, vertical and horizontal kind of thinking, everything is there. And if definitely because you are doing BTEC, you know that it is a focused thinking. You know what you want to do, right? You know, I know that you know about it. If you don't know, then definitely in coming months, coming years, you will be knowing what you want to do. The question is this, that if you are having a focused thinking, it will be prominent. And if it is prominent, people will start. prominent person and you will become a successful person to become a successful person focus thinking means you are giving your everything uh, everything uh, to for, for, for that particular job or for that particular society for that particular country people know about it right and you become a successful person and if you become a successful person 
you know how it is linked with the definition of the success and accordingly you are getting success right so we all are having different different definition of success so accordingly we are doing it my point starts after this my point means the point of entrepreneurship starts after this if you are having a focused thinking you are having a capability to develop your creative thinking but i am repeating it if you are having a focused thinking you are having capability of developing a creative thinking what do we mean by the creative thinking anything which is new and this is the difference between creativity and innovation i will again ask you this particular question right now i am telling you that the, what if you ask me so what is the difference between the creativity and innovation the difference is only this that anything new you are going to make anything new process you are going to develop anything new service you are going to make it or in any pre existing product pre existing product if you are going to add some new features right then this is what your creativity and the thinking which you are using it to make such kind of creative product is known as what the creative thinking right and creative thinking assures you about the success dominant thinking will tell you that you can become a successful person you have the capability but creative thinking makes you make assures you that you will become a successful person see in any office i am working there was some problem within two days we will have to complete this particular assignment there was a pressure from from the higher ups also and you are doing it why you are doing it because you know you are having creative kind of thinking creative thinking is responsible for both kind of creative thing number one problem solving also from for creative problem solving also. for both kind of problem solving you need creative kind of thinking right and when you actually relate it for the usefulness to the others when you actually commercialize it it becomes for the innovative thinking right and once it happens once it once it happens then you get the confidence then you get the motivation and then you have some idea about some entrepreneurial kind of business idea but i tell you one example just try to understand one example uh, you are a very good painter you are a very good painter Uh, and uh, you can make number of paintings you can make right so uh, till now you have not tried it because it was just uh, within you as as a as a hobby as a hobby it was there so you are having a room in that particular room there are four walls and uh, among those four walls one wall was totally empty right so you want this is the problem that you are not liking it and there is a need also that you want to replace it with something in market number of number of um, items which are available you can buy it and you can put it but you thought that since i am a very good painter i am going to make a new kind of painting which will be in line with the background color which i am having on walls and maybe with the with the items we are having in the in my in my room and uh, align with align with that i am going to draw or i am going to make such kind of painting and since you are a very good very good creative person you are a very good painter you made it you brought the um, ingredients and you made it and you made it in such a way that it is really nice it is finest it is finest from your sense and you are going to paste or you have pasted it on the wall which was empty totally so a problem was there because of that particular problem some need was arise and you thought that since i am i am able to do it or maybe i will later on i will relate it with the team with the team of any entrepreneur but yes you are you think that today as a promoter or as a founder or as a starter you can replace it so you made something and you replaced it and that is a new product that is a new product totally it is a new product because it is made by you only and it is a totally a new product which is there in your house i am not saying that it is in the market it is in your house and you are a creative person and it happened because you were having creative kind of thinking in that particular painting you thought that we are to put sun you thought that we are to put house you thought that we are to put boat from where the river will come to what direction river will go what kind of grass should be there what kind of children should be playing is everything you thought because of your creativeness and then after also about the product that which color you you need to mix what the what this color will take Uh, take uh, actual shape when you are going to paste in in any canvas right so everything you thought about it and that is why that is why but what i was trying to explain to you you are a creative person you made a new product 
similar way maybe we are going to make some we are going to design some phone some mobile phones some water drinking water bottles some skin we are going to make some doors we are going to make some you know some bridges we are going to make some houses we are going to make some floor mats we are going to make some carpets we are going to make some electronic items we are going to make because we are creative person first time the bulb was made the bulb was made bulb means the lighting bulb was made it was the creativity it was not at all the innovation it was the creativity now the same painting the same painting which you are actually pasting which i have already uh, uh, already pasted or, uh, or already you know um, installed in your in your wall then after one day some uncle or some auntie that has uh, that is going to visit your house and they say that this painting is very good and they want to buy it they want to purchase it and in in your absence or in your presence they buy it for say rupees 5000 in rupees 5000 they think that this particular painting is very good and this is going to solve their problem because they are also having similar kind of need or they are also having similar kind of you know problems they are facing similar kind of problems they are having similar kind of needs and that is why they are interested to buy your product and they buy it the moment they buy it the moment your product is commercialized it becomes innovation the moment any bulb the moment your created product electronic item or any mattress or any chair or any table it is commercialized it becomes innovation i will not say that it becomes only commercialization it is useful to others and people are trying to get it or it is useful to any process which is going to save their any resources say time money or anything anything may happen the immediately the creativity becomes innovation and once you think about it now but the journey is very interesting now when you think about it that if one can sold if one can be sold then why not 100 if one can be sold into the market then why not 1000 a sample you are thinking about why not 10 why not 100 why not why not 500 why not 1000 the moment it is coming to your mind what we say that you are now generated your entrepreneurial mindset and this is the confidence with which i was talking to you in the first point yes you can do it the question is this that only once you need to do it you make any application and that application you are going to make some paid kind of subscription the moment you will get first subscription you are confident about it yes we can do it yes i can do it yes you can do it the moment you get some some small small successes then you relate it it is just like you know um, add on add on add on add on and in in that particular way you are you become more and more confident you become more and more motivated yes i can do it because one was sold because five were were sold because 10 were sold because 100 were sold and that is why this seed of business idea it is coming to your mind seed means you all know the beat beat means seed seed is coming to your mind that if i could have sold one or if i have sold you could have sold you know 10 or 100 or 1000 then can't we can we convert it to a business idea now we want to do this particular business idea in a formal way this business idea generation has been done through this particular path so here i was talking only about your particular hobby that you are a very good painter or you are a very good carpenter or you are very good you know you are very good at anything you are very good coder you can design very good you know birthday cards or something like that and it happened once but now in the in the journey of entrepreneurship it is actually a team effort it is a team effort yes. team effort means you are having you as a promoter you are having some co promoters also you are having some uh, some you know uh, some other kind of uh, um, founders also with you some mentors are associated with you some advisors are associated with you even some of your family friends they are associated with you so you are having a team so the here the creative thinking is not only limited with you yes, here the creative thinking is limited with a team you are having you four people you five people you 10 people you two people a group so any one is thinking something any other one is uh, thinking something else so with that particular you know thinking aspects you are making something creative product and then after you are making uh, making it uh, innovative i i product and after you are having some business idea and once the business idea is generated with it less of the work can be done with the help of your mentors that whether that particular business idea is viable or not 
ऑन सेवन पैरामीटर्स टेक्निकली इकोनॉमिकली मार्केट वाइज मैन पावर वाइज सोशल लीगल एंड वैल्यू चेन वाइज एंड इफ यू फाइंड दैट वैलिडेशन हैज बीन डन वैलिडेशन ऑन वैलिडिटी और ऑन ऑफ वाइबल बिजनेस आइडिया और सस्टेनेबल बिजनेस आइडिया और फिजिबल बिजनेस आइडिया दैट हैज बीन डन दैन यू गो अहेड we will ask you to make a pitch deck and then after present it with the other stakeholders and see that how you can get some space in any incubation center or if you get some investors associated with you or maybe some you know some uh, some influencers associated with you maybe some renowned people who are there into the market they can also push you your business or they can also have some good uh, kind of you know Uh, good kind of linkage with your with you or with your company you are going to open later on so this is what that i wanted to explain it to you in this particular part that how thinking is very important and you can become an entrepreneur so i will take a halt if you have any questions please please ask me and then after i will try to explain you two three more slides if we have if time allows yes time allows i guess so by now but do you have any question because this way but we have completed one particular very important part that is thinking so i am waiting for questions if you have any questions in between you can ask or shall i move ahead uh, kindly raise your hands if you have questions i'll enable your mic students and other participants Yeah. Good morning, sir. I'm audible. Good morning. Sir. Yeah, Professor Ramesh Panda, this side. I'm audible, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Please. And it's a wonderful lecture, actually, and full of intellect and wisdom. I really appreciate. Actually, I'm an innovator. I'm developing my own inventions and creativity ready, and we are filing for the patent and prototype development. i'm searching for few opportunity who can fund for me for entrepreneurship development so being a student or inventor what are the different opportunity real time opportunity which we can avail through organization or any government or private bodies for raising funding for the prototype development startup incubation development okay uh, professor ramesh thanks for uh, for asking this question Uh, actually, the point is this: that entrepreneurship development we are talking about that is done by ourselves. Means different time kind of training programs we can under we can undergo, and then after we say that we are now become a potential entrepreneur. Now the question I am coming to that: what kind of facilities you can get from the government or from the from the investors? So see, if the prototype is ready, then I will suggest you to go for a value proposition first. Value proposition first. If prototype is ready. Uh, i am not asking that what kind of uh, prototype is ready it is a low fidelity kind of or high kind high fidelity high fidelity kind of you know uh, prototype is there but important part is this that whether you are having value proposition associated with this or not uh, ramesh uh, what i explain you what is value proposition value proposition is this that uh, it is actually related with the value the definition of value only that why number 1 uh, what kind of quality you are going to deliver to the to your future customers to your future customers since you are talking that it is at the time of uh, prototyping or minimum viable product what kind of quality you are going to give to your future customers and number 2 uh, the cost you are actually uh, thinking about that the pricing you are thinking about that this will be the price of my product uh, on that particular price you think that you will get customers or not so value proposition means this that uh, what kind of benefits people will get your future customers will get when they are going to buy your buy your product if you think that it is done if you think that it is sure then we can definitely talk about some investors if it is not done i am coming back to your question now uh, under dst there is one scheme which is known as what prayas which is known as nithi prayas uh, nithi is the scheme under which number of um, sub schemes are there prayas is there which actually um, uh, allows you for a uh, fund of rupees up to 10 lakh of rupees you can find in the google that which are the centers in in north india where you can get such kind of fund you can apply over there if you find any difficulty i will connect you to those kind those incubation centers which are having this particular scheme this this fund is given as a grant you need not to return that particular fund and this fund is only for development of your product not for opening a company that is why for company incorporation is not required over here 
so this is a very good scheme apart from that in delhi incubation center also we are having a scheme of up to 1 lakh rupees where we can provide 1 lakh of rupees uh, to you all the people means all the people who are innovator um, after their selection and that fund is also only to develop a prototype not for the marketing not for the marketing so i hope this is the first thing Num yes yes sir yeah so actual difficulty is starting from the covid time no private and government agencies or funding you know funding house they are providing a single pie of you know funding opportunity or uh, entrepreneurship development related fundings to any organization or inventors or researchers it's my personal you know experience uh, last time i availed 1.6 crore rupees from dst the steel it's turning before two and a half years means uh, on paper it's rolling still i'm not able to avail the opportunities i'm connecting to different different incubation house like your kit university that running the biggest you know biotechnology fabrication labs i'm i'm developing my invention ready with healthcare practices i try to validate the things with respect to conducting different interviews and filing design patents and standard patent in international national bodies but so far i am not successful that is my you know boriness actually uh, so what exactly particular we are we need investor actually we are having ideation we are having validated innovations with respect to you know doctors recommendations healthcare practitioners we already validated we developed two more invention one is cost effective thermal mattresses to avoid hypothermia for the neonatal patients and second one we developed one iot based microcontroller fitted one warmer for infants or premature delivery you can say and with respect to with your respect to our calculated budgetary allocations we are standing means we are drastically reducing the cost of the product also we have the product available 3 to 4 lakh rupees in market i can ready prepare the product within 25000 rupees and through one established company nowadays i am means uh, requesting to all my mo universities and engineering colleges to develop the prototype ready but apart from this i am not getting any single opportunity is the hardcore fact bolne ke liye sab to theek hota hai but when in means uh, people are uh, you know coming out for the investment for the ready prototypes and to competitive challenge with respect to available product right and search for the markets and finding the target audience it's quite difficult actually is there any particular incubation house or with your connection any investor or hubs are ready to validate examine our product and give us equal opportunity to develop the invention and uh, through startup we can solve the society see sir we all are doing it we all are doing it i don't know means how you can say means you have not got a single pie uh, in this particular way sir have you done since it is a personal question sir it will take some time also if i will discuss on it have you gone for this patenting or design part related to these two kind of inventions which you are having have you got yes. that or not i have already granted now i am standing at the highest patent holder of india okay. so, so, see, so see there there are two options when you are having very good inventions associated with you first part is this that whether you want to convert that particular idea from to a to a business by your own or you want to sell that particular uh, patent to some company if you want to sell that particular patent to a company depending upon any of the parameter or factor that is also possible in that case you will have to connect with some of the companies now sir see granting a patent in is one part and number two part is commercialization of the patent sir for the commercialization of the patent now we have to do something which is apart from academics uh, you, we have we should have a really entrepreneurial kind of mindset if you go for the commercialization of any patent sir i tell you very clearly that at early stage at early stage startups there are very less chances that you will get investors at early stage and right now if the company is not incorporated products are not into the market it is totally early stage i am not saying that at early stage you will not get investors but it is very difficult to get investors i am in this particular line from last many years sir and i assure you that if the product is good 
as I was mentioning that it is having a value proposition that people will buy it because it is related with their with their need. You can always come and contact me. I am sitting very near to your to your uh, institute. I am in Central Delhi. Definitely, I am there to help only women entrepreneurs, and women enterprises. This is a limitation, sir. This is a limitation that my university is a women university, and we we uh, we are committed for the women empowerment and women entrepreneurship. But it doesn't mean that I cannot connect you with 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 some of the investors, sir. I am having investors. I am having number of investors which have actually invested in many of the companies, even at idea stage also. But it is a fact that at idea stage, when the investors are not you know confident about the product, it becomes very difficult that they will come for the investment. Sir, please tell me. Please, sorry, please understand me, Ramesh ji. In today's time, you know what is the condition of fixed deposits. You know the recession may may come any time. I I don't know whether you are from the management background or you are from the technical background, but I am telling you that recession may come any time. You can see that how the positioning of rupees is going against dollar. What is happening internationally? Our share market. I don't know how we are holding it, but it can collapse any time, or maybe in some subsequently you will find it. So, because the recession is coming, it is a good point for the startups. Recession has some pros also, some cons also. Number of start, number of investors, they are coming to me because they want to invest. They are regularly in my touch. I am not telling them that we have to invest because I don't want to lose my position. If I am sure about the product, I am sure about the promoter. Promoter is also very important. If I am sure about the promoter, promoter is having you know IQ, EQ, SQ, and Although you must be thinking that it is a theoretical part, but I know sir how pragmatic it is. If the promoter is good at the early stage, na professor Ramesh ji, we only invest if the promoters are good. If the promoters, we we if we can work with the promoters, it will we are always open to work with them. <coughs> so so these are always there, sir. And apart from there, in Delhi only there are more than twenty incubation centers are there. So Electropreneur Park is doing very good job. In D2 also, we are having incubation center. In Triple ITD, maybe we are having very good kind of incubation centers. So these three, four incubation centers, we are we are limited to women entrepreneurs. But yes, we are also among them. So incubations. If you go and talk to the to talk to any of the CEO of any incubation center, I am sure you will be getting some help. Commercialization of patent is not that kind of problem. Number of companies also to number of companies also you can sell your prototype. But the only point is this professional image. See, I am again saying you the value proposition. Getting a patent is totally different, and when you actually go for commercialization of it, it is actually different. It is a way apart. In India right now, we are getting everything is patented. We are getting patents because government is also promoting that how many patents we are filing, and we want to show it on the ranking of the world way world. word wise that india is standing in this particular rank so patenting uh, patent granting is not a problem problem is this that when you go for the market freedom to operate you want to go and then it becomes some difficult but if your product is good sir at least i am always there in stand with you stand it with you sure sir sure sir i will collect your contact number from the coordinator of this event and after three four days i am visiting delhi also we will definitely meet i'll meet at your office sir Sure, sir. Why not? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the nice talk. Thank you. Sir. Any other question, madam? Somebody was raising hand. Any other questions from the participants? So I think we can continue with the talk. Okay. I hope, ma'am, you can see this particular slide. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible. Two, three more slides. I will do, ma'am. Then after you take a break. Sure, sir. But now, for you as a student, if you say, sir, now my thinking has been developed. Knowing about the thinking, actually, I have developed my thinking, and now we are having entrepreneurial thinking, and I am aspirant. as parent means you are motivated you are motivated you are budding entrepreneur you want to be your means you want to become an entrepreneur and that kind of thinking you are having now the second part comes about the entrepreneurial development how will you develop yourself how will you develop yourself so that you can actually choose entrepreneurial career and the entrepreneurial track entrepreneurial journey so 
you are right now you are in this particular situation that uh, you are having number of options and 10% 5% you think that you are also open for entrepreneurship and for that some development is required and that development is known as what the entrepreneurial development this workshop any any such kind of workshop one session you will be attending at 2 o'clock i guess then this is the series it is open now second third fourth fifth will come some courses you can do some short term courses you can do on innovation entrepreneurship startups everything everything all together what you say that everything which you are gaining that is giving you some entrepreneurship development and after that particular entrepreneurship development after 2 months 6 months one year when you are having some basic knowledge about the domain and you are having a business idea you say sir now i am ready to take up the assignment i am ready to become an entrepreneur once you say sir i want to become an entrepreneur i am ready for this you will need to show some of your qualities and characteristics and those qualities and characteristics are known as what the entrepreneurship and uh, everything is ready then you are having a business idea also you are motivated you are you are prepared yourself you are prepared yourself you are having entrepreneur development with you then we say that you can go and incorporate a company or incorporate a firm enterprise is right so one enterprise that uh, you want to take and that enterprise if it is coming under the realm of the definition of the startup by government of india you can also register it uh, register it as a startup with you so this is how now you can move on but before that it as i was mentioning you should be aspirant entrepreneur budding entrepreneur motivated entrepreneur one entrepreneur and for which thinking is important but this is now next slide very interesting uh, slide that uh, sir how to move i don't want you to see at the second block third block and fourth block i want only you to see the first block only first block means at early stage startup you or your team members you or 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 your team members should have these five qualities and we don't have any compromise on it you should be innovative you should be you should have some love for success you should have you should be hard working you should be hard working you are a risk taker you have to be risk taker your general awareness should be at good level it should be so we don't have any compromise the compromise is only this that if you are not having any of them then your team member should have at the at the early stage and among these all five most important part is innovation innovative so i or we want to become an entrepreneur because we are innovative this is the first decisive test as with your professor ramesh was saying that they have developed some product they have developed something and that creativity is with them now it is since the patent has been granted so it is ready for innovation innovations means you can go to the market and you can sell it you can make it make it commercialize any time right so if any time if you can do it that means you are innovative unless you are not innovative the first decisive part is this that you can become an entrepreneur or not it is going to decide and perhaps with it that innovation is the only thing which is going to decide that whether you are entrepreneur or you are not an entrepreneur if you are not an entrepreneur in that particular in that particular you know um, domain only then you can become a businessman but not an entrepreneur so with innovation you get a sustainable growth that growth is guaranteed but if you are not having innovation involved into it maybe it is a sustainable business but i am not sure about it tomorrow so innovations must for you know must for entrepreneurs we don't have any compromise in it a step ahead but i will say that three points are very important number first point is this that you should understand the concept of innovative mindset and concept of mindset innovative mindset is only give to going to give you opportunities which you can find into the market continuous innovation should be there continuous innovation this has been done this has been done this has been done continuous innovation not only for the development of the product but throughout all the processes throughout all the all the services throughout all the business models you are going to follow continuous innovation and the last work is last point is this that continuous innovation not only by you but it should be within by, by a team by a team is the core team you are going to form so this is important parameter for the innovation i wanted to say and uh, and uh, uh, rest of the slides pe uh, if, if you can want you can ask some questions and uh, i am going to close pe here this particular session but i want you to ask questions but i have to some time also which if you have some questions that we can we can uh, have some time on your questions also 
Uh, Rashmi, ma'am, I think I am done from my side. Okay, sir. Uh, my is my contact is just uh, very, very easy way. You can come and contact me directly through vkarora.com. Sure, sir. Sure. But I am open for questions. Please ask me questions. I have time. Any questions? <laughs> Kindly raise your hands if you have any questions. Sir, I guess there are no questions. So thank you for such a wonderful session, sir. I would now like to invite Dr. Sandeep Sharma, uh, IIC Kandina of BPIT to deliver the vote of thanks. Sandeep sir. Prashivam, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon all. It was indeed a very informative talk, Kerala sir. And uh, I hope that we all be able to these valuable suggestions by in implementing any idea regarding the internship. So I, on the behalf of IIC BBIT and myself, like to extend my sincere thanks dr vk aroda for his, for this motivating and engaging talk thank you sir thank you very much and we hope to be associated with you in our future endeavor thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir before we wind up i request everybody to kindly switch on your video for a second so that we can have some pics with our eminent speaker Kindly switch on your videos. Hello.